family. Using your own advice, how much do you spend on groceries and living expenses for a family of six per month? Well, um, groceries, I um, eat gluten-free, so mm. most of my family eats gluten-free as well, just because it's easier. Right. And we spend, um, our grocery budget is 125 a week, and that includes um, all, you know, seven, three meals a day times seven days a week for six people. And that also includes um, baby food. I make my own baby food. Oh, you do? Um, and formula for my daughter. So 125 a week is what we, we spend. We also have um, a account for like extracurricular activities, you know, gas, food, date night, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. um, so, so 125 is what we, what we stick to every week for groceries. And that includes a lot of organic food and gluten-free food, too. So when you go to the market, do you say, okay, do you go to the market once a week? Mm -hmm. Once a week. Once a week. And that's when you spend the whole 125 Right. And there's a statistic that says for every extra minute you spend in the grocery store, you spend an extra $1.75. Really? Yes. So my goal is to get in and out as fast as possible because there's all these little marketing tricks that are kind of hidden right. around the store. Right. And I want to stay away from those as much as possible because then I'll spend more money. Well, I heard the whole idea about the sales, and I don't know because I don't do the marketing. Okay. But when you go to the market, there are sales that you didn't know about, mm -hmm. and so you should buy it then. Yep. We had one woman who was on with us tell us that, that you should, when you see the sale, buy it then. Mm -hmm. Do you do that? I do, and I think that's probably one of the biggest keys with couponing is to save them until the item does go on sale and buy it then, but then there's all always these unadvertised deals that you can find in the store. Right. You know, the grocery store circular is kind of like just a big marketing trap. Sometimes the items are on sale and sometimes they just want to push them, so they put them in there. I see. So they're not always the best deals are the ones that are in the ad are not always the best deals. Right. But if you go to the market and you see, oh my God, they're selling paper towels for practically nothing, mm -hmm. I'll, so I'll buy them now even though it's not on my list. Exactly. So now you'll go over a little bit of your 125. Right. Well, I have this, I call it my third budgeting system. Uh -huh. Okay. So a third of my budget goes towards uh, fresh produce, meats, veggies. Um, probably actually a little bit more than that now, but uh, a third goes towards um, other items like crackers or cheese, those kind of things, and then a third of my budget I call my stock up area, right. and that's for those type of deals right. that are in the store or they kind of pop up and I'm not, you know, I, I have a little bit of extra wiggle room I guess right. to, to play around to find those kind of deals.